Okay, um, we are back, and we have made our paper in there, and I've du duplicated the layer, and um, desaturated it, and then went in and added texture with um, my filter, Add Noise. And when you're adding the um, color on it, make sure that it's nice and bright, because we're doing this for the white. So I've had it too dark, and it just doesn't look right. So when I did the image adjust, you want to make sure you come in with lots of nice bright whites. And now I've come into my brush, and I am choosing the different charcoal um, textures that I can put on that. That I think the pastel medium tip is pretty good. I like the charcoal flat, um, and then the charcoal scraping paper leaves lots of texture too. So I'm going to go with the charcoal flat. And now adding with her little dog fur, and that one looks like it's uh, adding the white on top of that, that that might be a little bit too big. So I want it to look like an actual um, piece of charcoal. Or I can also then change the opacity back and the flow back and then add some white in and actually just color an area to lighten up where I want it to be white. And if you um, go over the top of where you might want it to be gray. But this is adding like some white textured charcoal flecks in as well. So if I zoom back out, view, zoom out, you can see that if I need to lighten up anything, like on the bunny's face here, that that was really quite a, a light bunny or light on Angel's um, head here or Popcorn's head here or there. Yeah, so you can pay attention to where you might want to add the white charcoal to add contrast. And you're just putting it in. Right now I'm not trying to put any brush marks because they're a little fur. This, this is just a really soft piece and I'm just adding some of that texture in on top of their fur that um, I can add a little of the texture on top of where I've darkened it as well even though that that's why see how that just adds that um, texture back into your drawing that anywhere that you want that charcoal texture to come in that and you can kind of scrub it through. We're, we're just having um, some drawing time here in charcoal without getting our fingers as messy as we did when we were using the real charcoal. So that adds that kind of charcoal dust feel to their um, and it's because of that texture mass that was there. And just continue on anywhere that you think you want to add the dust and highlight. Even in, in the black black. Isn't that cool? So we're trying to emulate um, the paper, what a real charcoal drawing would look like. And with that step, I'm going to stop now and talk to you when I'm finished about the next step.